Kumusta sa tanan? Pagbalik sa akong channel. Today's video is going to be about my hair care journey. I wanted to give you guys an update on how long my hair has gotten and what I did in order to get to where I'm at now. And I will also be sharing with you guys which products I like the most out of the first ones that I showed you and also show you guys new products that I got so that I could continue letting my hair grow the best way that I can, the best way possible it can, and um, just share my tips and tricks um, for all. So without further ado, let's go and get this video started. Hey guys, so today I am going to start my hair journey. My hair has been falling out due to stress and um, I just recently transition to natural hair again i did dye my hair blonde like full-on blonde you know um because i wanted a change so just a little quick story about my hair um i used to have thick 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 hair and um over time they just started falling out and so i kind of want to take care of them again I mean, I was taking care of them, it just wasn't, you know, because I'm not feeling well. So it's kind of like, okay, well, what are we going to do about it, you know? So I do have this product. It's the gummy one, so I'm going to start that today. And then I, I also have this one. And um, I'll probably switch off on, like, both of these. I'll probably just go... Um, one day if I'm feeling this one and one day if I'm craving this one, I'll just, you know, go off in that. And I do want to um, kind of open these up today and just kind of um, see how they smell. Because I had a dream that my hair st stinks. So it was like, you know. So these are so cute. I'm gonna take another one. I just love how they're shaped like hearts and they're really sweet. Mm. So today's day one. I'm also going to log that in in my calendar. That way I could track. Of my hair journey for you guys mm. this is really good okay so now I'm opening the hair perfume um, I didn't see that many reviews about hair perfume so I just kind of wanted to oh this is so cute look what it says love yourself small like I was expecting this to be a little bit bigger hmm. let's try this one and I wanted to I wanted to compare which one is better if the Taka or the Miss Dior is like which one out of these two is better this is really small I mean look at that this is bigger than this but this one was cheaper than this so this is much more expensive but it's smaller uh, let's see how they smell. Mm, I like this one. Like, you saw me open this one and I didn't really say anything. This has a more flowery scent to it. 
So it's really feminine. And this one is kind of just chill laid back. Like this gives me bathroom vibes and this gives me like flower vibes. If that makes sense. But they're, I think they're both good. But if I was at the store, because I ordered these online, but if I was at the store and I, you know, was smelling these, I'd probably pick this better. Like I'd probably pick this out of the two. But we'll see. We'll see how people treat me. I'm going to be observing how people are going to treat me, whether they're going to respect me or just respect me. We'll see how, um, which one gets the most respect out of these two. Hey guys, so today is week one of my hair care journey. Um, these products just came in. Um, as you guys can see, I did take a picture of what I got so far. Um, so I've been wanting to get this for a very long time. My hair brushes tend to get tangled up because my hair tends to fall out a lot. So I really needed this. And um, we'll see how it goes. I did get two um, dry bars. I did get dr two dry bars, lemon drop lasting long lasting bristles daily detangler so one to go in my bag and then one here to stay at home um, i really love the colors in this one my favorite color is yellow so i was really excited to see this one there were so many choices to choose but just look at that look how cute it is and it's soft so i actually need to brush my hair because I just got home from work and it's time for me to unwind so I want to do a routine where every time I come home I'm just you know taking care of my hair taking care of my face taking care of my body so I also wanted to try this hair oil and just kind of see how it goes I know that um, I did say that out of these two so far i've used this one not many changes yet i haven't seen anybody stop me and say hey your hair smells really good no one has done that yet no one has um noticed it and i know i said that it did s smell like bathroom um <laughs> it just gave that bathroom spray vibes like you know what i mean versus to this one where you smell it and it just smells like women right away you know if it makes sense so i'm gonna keep trying this one i mean it's pretty big you guys like it's compared to this one this is much bigger than this so i'm trying to kind of salvage everything you know even though i am loving the dior smell so far and i haven't even tried it yet um for a day like you know just to see if someone would notice but um we're one to three drops through wet hair and air dry or smooth through dry strands after a blowout compress. Hmm. Um, it says to do it on wet hair, but I have dry hair right now, and I'm not styling. I'm not doing a blowout, but I do need some attention. I do need oil in my hair, so I'm just gonna use it right now. It smells good like it smells it doesn't smell florally but it, it smells I, don't know, I can't explain it it's not like a cleaning fresh either it doesn't smell like bathroom for sure I'm just gonna use the big brush and I was kind of contemplating because I was contemplating on which brush to get because my hair is falling out a lot so I wanted to get a brush that really works for what I'm going through right now and right now I'm going through a lot of fallouts so I'm trying to that so far 
I haven't gotten into a situation where I'm like brushing down and then it's stuck. So I'm not feeling that right now, as you can see. Okay, I like it. I did straight my hair yesterday. I don't apply heat to my hair every day, but I did. I did apply it, so this is what it looks like. Can you guys see it? I really like the smell of this. I can't explain it, but. It smells sophisticated, like, and it smells nourishing. So, okay, I'll check back with you guys um, in a little bit. Oh, and before I go, I did try this shampoo. It is the Tea Tree Lemon Sage Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, it says Energizing Bodybuilder and um yeah energizing bodybuilders so i i i'm not so sure about this one i thought that i would love it but first of all the smell isn't that strong like when i put it on and it says to apply a small amount so um i did and it just wasn't doing it for me like my hair is thick and i like to use thick pumps of shampoo and so the same thing with the conditioner so as you guys can see i mean it's still a lot you know what i mean but um I, it did smell good it did smell good but it's not strong like the smell isn't strong and i guess if you're someone that's looking for a shampoo that's not strong or not too overpowering then yeah maybe this shampoo is gonna be for you so far i did have fallouts today I mean, it's just the first day, you know, so we'll see how that goes. And um, so far, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not as into it as I would testing a new product. So we'll see. I mean, I don't have any choice either because I have to finish this. So I'm just going to keep using this until it's done and then it's time to get a new one. Okay. that I kept all the stuff that I bought a year ago and plus new stuff that I will be sharing with you guys so I'm just gonna separate them first which are the old and which one are the new and we'll go ahead and get started okay you guys so the first product that I'm gonna be talking about today is the Quay hair oil and I love this product as you guys can see it is empty like I just love this one I would definitely buy this again it was so helpful to me when I would straighten my hair and then I would put this oil. And that's how I basically used it every time I straightened my hair. And then aside from that, if I didn't straight it, I would just um, put this on and just kind of oil my hair up just and just brush it after work. And it was just so good. Like, that's how good it was. I really love this one. So thumbs up. 10 out of 10 for this one. So the second products that I'm going to be reviewing are the shampoos that I did get. I love them. I love the tea tree and I love the lavender. But if I was to choose two, because remember I got four. Um, well, it was two sets like on this flavor and then on this flavor or scent or whatever. And then um, I basically used up all of them. I don't know where the other two bottles are. They're probably somewhere in there. But I just kept the two for reference and I ended up using this one but if you asked me which one I would choose I would definitely use the lavender it was just um it was different it was lavender mint it was because of the mint the mint made it do that little tingly sensation and so I really love this one 
I would buy the lavender mint one again versus two compared to the tea tree oil. But either way, to the, the two of them works. I would just prefer this one. So the third thing that I'm going to be reviewing is the gummies. The, the Hum gummies, hair sweet hair gummies with benefits. And I ate it all up. Like... It was so good like actually sad that i didn't get two because it was just you know i i would have benefited more if there was two but you know it doesn't hurt to always get another one so that's what i'm gonna be doing next um i'll be showing you guys i did get another hair gummies but it's not the same brand so but i would definitely recommend this one like obviously my hair grew so i love this one and the fourth product that i'm going to be reviewing is this one and it came in this box and as you guys can see there's still some pills inside like I was not feeling this at all like some days I was like this thing is probably expired so I think the thing that bothered me about it was the smell yeah it smells like fish you know like I mean it's it's vegan omega 3, 6, and then 9 plus biotin supplements for healthy hair. So I don't know. It just, I wasn't feeling the, the smell and the taste of it. Because like, it was like, in my mind, I smell what it smells and then I'm putting it in my mouth knowing what it smells like. If that makes sense, you know. So I did not like this. Out of these two, I would prefer this one. So, yeah. The next thing that I'm going to be talking about are the hair perfumes. This is what it looks like after a year from now. I mean, you saw when I filmed my last one. It was, as you guys can see, I have used the Miss Dior much more than I did the Toka. And um, my thoughts have changed because I know I said this smelled like bathroom. I have no idea why I even said that. But I guess because it's like, it's much more toned down from Miss Dior, if that makes sense. This, like you're going for business, and this one is just, just to smell good, you know? I do put this on here and there, but not as extent to where I was using it a year ago. But it doesn't hurt to spray them on here and now and there. So, yeah. Um... And I also did switch. I would prefer this one much more because I don't really go out anywhere anymore. Most of the time, I would prefer this one. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be reviewing is my hairbrush comb cleaner. Um, I love this thing. I have no idea who invented these, but kudos to you because I have a better routine outcome ch chances of me brushing my hair using this one because it's just so convenient every time i see my hair clunk clunking up into the hairbrush all i all i literally have to do is like go like this and it, it's all done it's cleaned up and you just take that little ball as you guys can see i showed you guys a little preview and so i really recommend this one you guys so i really love this one and the hairbrush i mean a year has passed by and no no little yellow balls fell out like they're still good they bring brushes that much when i have my purse but when i do travel i tend to bring the smaller one and it's just really really good like i love this best purchase ever so that consists of all of the things that i got from last year um i did purchase some things in between that time period for example this hair massager um it basically comes in this little charging pod and you just stick it like that and it is char rechargeable so you just plug it up and then when you have like bad days or you have a migraine i usually do it when I feel like my hair needs that touch like I can't explain it like my hair is clean and everything like I've taken a shower I've taken shampoos and or maybe even a day like I just feel like my hair is bored like my hair talks to me you guys so this is the time I would use it and literally I all you have to do is charge it up and then you turn it on so it goes in circular motions and it has those four balls and it'll tell you when you need to recharge like 
it lights up and stuff like that. It's pretty much self-explanatory. And then I would just put it on my hair and massage it. Especially here in the back one. Because that's where my head be like, oh, girl, you need it. Yes, where have you been all my life? Like, you know, like you just sit there and think. And then just kind of let your hair ponder. This really helps my scalp a lot. Like, I don't know, like re rejuvenation. <laughs> I don't know, but I love it. So, yeah. And you can also do this on your um, back or wherever you need it. Um, massager. So, but I use this for my head. Oh, and there's two speed settings. So, this one is a little bit faster. And, yeah. You just turn it off. So I've been using this in between from the last year till now and it I think it did help my hair grow because like obviously like maybe the circulation has helped the blood to grow more hair. I don't know the hair follicles. So yeah, go get yourself this one you guys. It's really good. 10 out of 10. So the second thing that I bought in between was this Super Collagen C and I think I got this from Amazon. Um, I'm not sure, but I pretty much emptied it out and I think this is what helped me make my hair grow too because um, obviously I emptied it out. And there was another collagen that I got because um, I ran out of this one and I just started having allergies. Like I wasn't, I'm not sure if it's what caused um, my itchiness on this area so I stopped that one completely and I gave it away because I might be allergic to some things on that one you know so I just stopped that one and so now moving on to the future self hair care um, the products that I did get are from Target and my husband just recently had his birthday and so I also take care of his hair. He has locks. So I just got him some gifts for his hair because I noticed that um, he didn't have some anymore because I tend to use his stuff as well, you guys, like the hair oils after I straight my hair. I use the hair oils that he used for his hair. So um, we both have long hair now. So yeah. And I realized that he didn't have any more. So I just like, you know what? I'm doing this hair video anyways. Like I need to update everything, you know? So um, this is what I've got. Um, the first thing that I got is called Ollie. And it is a beauty vitamin for hair, skin, and nails. And so I was just started using this one. And it doesn't give me the same vibe as this one. Like... I remember it was a heart shape and it had little like um, strawberry um, like little bumps so with this one it's just plain like it's for this one it's just plain little circles but it gives it gives that same vibe as a gummy so I probably will love this one too you know I can't wait to start eating all of this up so yeah um, the second thing that I got are a bunch of pacifica products and i just i don't know i just kind of went ham you know because i didn't know which one was going to um i didn't know which one was going to be good for me and which one i was gonna love so i just wanted to try them out and i love pacifica you guys because it's vegan and um it's cruelty free so i just wanted to you know invest and so the first thing that i got is this um, vegan silk instant gloss mask and so basically shine hydrate and silky protection with amino acids it's going to um yeah hydrate your hair and make it silky and protect it with amino acids and so i can't wait to try this one it I was gonna put this on today like thinking it was just an oil but the direction said that you have to leave it on for 60 seconds like let it sit and then shampoo and condition and rinse and later on and stuff like that so I will have to do this on days where I'm really really like tired and just need that revamp because I need some hair mask I realized that you have to let it sit for a while you know that I got from Pacifica is this rosemary purifying conditioner and um basically the shampoo and the conditioner so i just got the two of them i already used these two you guys and oh my god it is so good like i was so 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 re 
rejuvenated with this one because I felt my hair stimulated because it has mint and I love rosemary. I used to warm up and boil rosemary and put them in this little spray bottle and put them on my hair and I've consistently seen a hair growth. And so I love that Pacifica um, had this rosemary line because I am familiar with rosemary with the hair before. So yeah. And then the other thing that I got is this coconut milk detangler and basically you just spray it on and then um, your naughty knots will be hydrated and then it's easy for you to comb and so I basically that's what I got because you know now that I have long hair my hair um, does to get um, tend to get tangled and so I got I basically got that one for this one so yeah and then the other thing that I have is this um, Never Salty. So Never Salty. And basically it's a sugar-based scalp hair scrub. And um, what it does is you basically put it on your hair. It's sugar. And then you let it sit for a while. You just scrub and scrub. And then you rinse it out. So I did use this one on this side of my hair. Because it was starting to get itchy. Like I tend to have like little tiny hairs that bother me there. So I put this on there and I scrubbed it up. And so it's really cool too. Like look how the tips are. And you just literally squeeze it out. And products comes out. And then you go like that. So it's. I really like this one and um, this came with a line like color let me go get it so I got my husband this line this whole yellow line and it's so pretty because it's yellow <laughs> I'm addicted but um, I got him this whole line not realizing that the hair scrub doesn't go with a dreads like you know your hair is too thick to be doing hair scrubs so he just gave me this one I didn't realize but I thought all of this products would work well with him forever I just you know I didn't actually read I just grabbed and go so yeah at least there's one for me somehow and then the last products that I got are these tea tree oil and 100% argan oil and basically what this does is I uh, use it for straightening my hair because as you guys know I used a quay to put on oil in my hair after straightening it and that's gone so these two are my replacement and I used this one to yeah I used this one today and it's just so good you guys like you guys saw my preview hairs and it was just so cute like I just love it but yeah so all right you guys that concludes my hair my hair journey review i hope you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up hit like and subscribe to see more of what i come up with my hair journey i am going to get a haircut you guys because as you guys can see the hair is so long and the layering doesn't level anymore if that makes sense so I'm gonna try to cut it myself or I'm gonna find a salon to go do that one um, if not then we're just gonna have to see because I am actually bothered by the brown hairs that's on the ends like it just feels like it's dead ends you know so I want to get that trim but the thing is is that if I call the salon they tend to cut my hair way shorter than what I want and the thing is is that if I cut it myself it's just I never have time I'm so busy these days like every week every weekend there's always something to do so it's just like I need to wind down tone down and just kind of relax and zone out and not push everybody out but just I like being alone so it's just nice to have some quiet time you know and yeah anyways you guys I'll see you guys until next time pag always and take care bye